Hey, how's it going? I'm Ina Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so I have no idea what I'm going to talk about this time again, because I like to plan things, clearly. <laughs> And this time, to be fair, this is one of those cases where I've had to think about a few things I could talk about for this one, um, but I'm not completely sure which topic I want to sort of um, go ahead with, <laughs> as it were. Um, okay, I guess this one could be a rightly focused one, because I don't think I've done very many rightly focused ones recently, so... Why not? Let's go with that. <laughs> All right. So um, I have obviously been trying my best to market my book as much as possible. And that includes things like entering them into competitions, usually the free ones, because like I don't expect to get anywhere with it. So I don't really want to be spending any money. Um, it's not because I don't have faith in my books, I do have a lot of faith in my books, but um, I'm a very unique writer um, in terms of, um, not necessarily in terms of like the topics that I'm covering, not necessarily in terms of the kind of the story beats that I go through, but just in sort of terms of my style um, and, you know, a lot of these competitions are very much judged by... Um, people who expect certain things from books um and i don't necessarily give that <laughs> um, i think i've mentioned before that i would describe my style as being very anime-esque or very manga-esque um in terms of the feel uh that it sort of gives off i've had uh a, a lot of people who sort of have read my early work or have read uh, some of the stuff that i've done that i do now you know comparing it to things like studio ghibli films um and stuff like that for just like the, the overall feel and the overall um way I sort of go about presenting my writing and stuff like that so it's not it's not that it's unmarketable it's just in terms of what they tend to look for in like these competitions and things it's not your traditional style of writing um which is why I'm always like I'm probably not going to get anywhere because although people who take a chance on my book tend to more often than not like my style and like my writing and like stuff like that it's not competition style writing <laughs> to sort of, I guess that's the, the best way of sort of putting it. It's not um, the type of writing that normally does well in the sort of the competition setting because it is very much um, of its own sort of ilk and of its own. It's not um, written with you know the perfect rules of grammar and the perfect rules of uh, language sort of going into it. it it's um yeah I, I i'm very consistent with the choices that i make when it comes to things like grammar as i've mentioned before so the the consistent that, that it's consistent in my writing and it's consistent in the story um but it's not necessarily following what is considered good grammar, uh, <laughs> um, just because like some of the rules are like a little bit stupid, like, and I'm I'm kind of like, when you're sort of doing it, when you're using like the, I mean the biggest thing for me is commas, like most most of the rest of it I'm yeah I'm, I'm pretty good, uh, I I probably follow the rules more than I realise, um, but the big one for me is is comma placement and where commas are supposed to go. Um, and I do it very much now based on how it sounds with the voice reader. Um, it's like, does it sound like right with the voice reader to have a comma there or does it not? And and I will use that. And like a comma is like a really difficult one to sort of figure out anyway. But sort of like hearing it does help. And hearing where the pause is and, and stuff like that. Like the, the sort of like the big one that I don't do, um, I know you're supposed to do, supposed to do. I don't put commas after people's names in uh, in uh, <laughs> in sentences because <laughs> I don't 
see the point of it because to me a comma is a pause but if you're saying someone's name in a sentence you don't like pause after their name so it just to me it, it doesn't sound right it's never sounded right it's never looked right um and if i've got two names in a row then i'll put a comma between the names which is like the only kind of exception i make to that or alternatively if it's one of those situations where it feels like there should be a cause uh, should be a cause should be a pause then i'll put a comma after that um but more often than not i will like i will do like dot 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 i think it's called an ellipses um to sort of give that pause in um if there needs to be like that sort of pause after the name but like more often than not i'm like no it it, do it doesn't need to have a comma there i don't like what why are you putting a comma there it doesn't make sense to me i'm sure there's some smart ass reason why they're supposed to be a comma there but i choose not to follow that rule um it is a consistent thing in my writing so it i'd like and this is one of the things i mean it's my use of grammar might not be english standard correct but it is consistent within my writing and to me that's the more important bit it's it then makes it a stylistic choice and not a mistake <laughs> and i've mentioned this before um but of course you're being judged by different criteria when you enter something into a competition to what you would be if it was just being like read by a casual reader which is why you know although my writing is good and although the casual reader won't think twice about you know my grammar being a little bit odd in places um if, when you're entering something into a competition they're going to be a little bit harsher and a little bit stricter i'm not going to like edit something just for competition i will just that that seems stupid to me that's that that's then me not presenting my writing as my writing it's me trying to present it as i think it should be presented in order for some snooty person to decide that it is you know correct and that's 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 not the point of writing writing is um writing is about a freedom of expression it's about um creativity and yes we do have a lot of rules within writing but part of being a writer is to play with those rules and, and to break those rules i mean we're living in a postmodern era in terms of uh creativity and a lot of that does involve kind of going well yeah there are lots of rules and yes you can learn all these rules but those rules are also there to be played around with they're also there to be broken um or to, to be bent or to be this or to be that or to be the other so it's sort of like yeah if you're entering stuff into competitions there is certain things they expect and if you're not presenting that then you're not likely to do as well even if your story like um competitively speaking your st your story is just as good as it all you know even in some cases maybe better than this story that has all the grammar correct all the spelling correct all this all that all the other um it's it's going to be sort of you know looked lesser upon within like not all but within certain um competition formats because you don't do things the correct way um style means nothing <laughs> um but having shared all of that um one of the three competitions that i'd kind of forgotten i went into um i i'm, I'm gonna refer to it as like a runner-up position um that i managed to achieve it was the reader's choice uh the reader's choice readers recommended yeah yeah uh readers recommended award within the thing uh, <laughs> within the competition um so I'm, I'm sort of like seeing it sort of like a run of that place and there's quite a few others um in that category but that doesn't stop me from sort of talking about it and boasting about it um just because it's like the first time like my work has been recognized in any kind of way and the fact that it's a readers you know recommended kind of one um it's also good because it also sort of goes towards my point of you don't have to have everything sort of standardized correct um for people to really enjoy your work as long as they sort of understand that you are doing things in a particular way and that you're you 
created a set of rules which you are consistent with within your writing then yeah it, 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 it yeah um it's very much i think uh that kind of way of looking at it so i'm very pleased and the fact that it's the colors i see as well which is my doorstop um which is my doorstop and i still don't have <laughs> and I still don't have um, no doors allowed out yet. Um, so my cover guy started working on it. Then he had a whole bunch of uh, other stuff kind of exploding his face. I, I say exploding his face, not literally exploding his face, but like a lot of other stuff just sort of came up. Um, he's been dealing with that. Um, he actually went like completely radio silent for about two weeks, which worried me a little bit. Um, but he's back now and I will sort of, once he's finished decompressing, I will, uh, I will chase him for the cover for my door go out again. Like, fingers crossed, I get it out before the end of this month. <laughs> I might even sort of like, be like, uh, can you also do the We, we Giants cover at the same time? Just so that like, I can release We Giants once I finish editing. So yeah, I like, I know kind of what I want the We Giants cover to sort of look like I, that's probably the one I've got like the best idea for um no doors allowed I sort of like had several like different possible ideas for it um there is uh there's only like a couple of I like yeah there, there are a few things that would definitely work for um we giants I've got a, a much clearer idea of how I would want we giants cover to look so I might try to get both covers like at the same time even though I don't need the wee giants one for a little bit longer um I might as well at least try to sort of get both done at the same time but yeah the fact that uh, the colors I see is the one that has has got this little, little woody thing um it's quite good because obviously the colors I see is I don't want to say it's I mean, it, technically it's the pre the the prequel to No Doors Loud, which is coming out, but it's not the prequel because like the books can be read in any order, but at the same time, uh, there is a timeline, there is a chron chronology, and it is No Doors Loud is set after, and it's sort of the continuation of Zell and Orion's story. Well, it's definitely the continuation of Zell and Orion's story. <laughs> it's like 100% the continuation of Zell and Orion's story. Um, but yeah, so it's quite good that the colours I see is the one that has has gotten this. It sort of tied itself quite nicely, uh, provided I can get no doors out, no doors out out uh, sooner rather than later. Um, and then in other news, um, I've also recently had a. So I'm I'm a member of all authors. Um, I think I've mentioned this before. Um, and as part of the renewal of my subscription, they have done my little interview thing with me, which is now up. Um, that was, yeah, <laughs> that was one of those things. I wasn't expecting it because I didn't have anything like that when I uh, initially joined them. And I, you know, I went with the, their subscription thing and I, I've gone with it specifically because if you are not on their subscription plan, um, you can only have three books hosted obviously at the point in time I already had five books out and I was like oh, that doesn't work very well for me I might actually need the extra um it's just another one of those you know sites which will, will you know get traffic to your book and, and stuff like that so it's kind of one of those things where it's uh important to sort of uh utilize things like this um and I've, I, this time around I've gone for like a year the first time I went for like six months but like the year was like discounted so I was like I might as well go for that one so yeah um I wasn't expecting like an interviewee thing to sort of crop up in my inbox so I initially deleted the email because I was like oh it's just all authors sending me stuff again so I, <laughs> I just deleted it and then I got another email going um have you like can you fill in the the interview thing um you know at, at your own leisure please don't forget my interview thing so i had to go into my delete it <laughs> to find it because <laughs> i deleted it <laughs> i had to go into the trash to find it um so i found that and uh that that's now up on online as well uh, i may or may not remember to post the link to that below um if i do check it out if you want to check it out if not um 
don't worry too much (laughs) it's one of those things where i'm like yeah it's it's a thing that's happened um but again it's one of these things which is all to to go together with like the whole marketing and you know getting yourself out there and sort of promoting yourself which is not something i'm very good at i'm struggling quite a bit with it like since i've been back to work um i've been finding it a lot a lot harder to motivate myself into doing all the promotional stuff because it takes a lot of time and like on my days off I just want to have a day off which I don't think is unreasonable um I mean I know I do get three days off a week and I could sort of utilize them a little bit better but at the same time I do do a lot of stuff on my days off because I'm doing like all the the writing stuff and the editing stuff and then like on a day like today I might also be doing my food shopping I've also got to get like a clothes wash in I might have to clean out the gerbils um so it's not like I'm like not having like, like I'm not it's not like I'm not doing anything in place of this it's more a case of it can be so exhausting um just looking around things and trying to find you know what you need in order to promote yourself a little bit better and trying to find things that work that don't cost the earth and that's that's I think the hardest one is trying to find things that don't cost the earth because I don't earn enough money to be spending a lot of money and then not getting any return for it um there are a few things that I've tried in the past that are supposed to be really good that just have not worked for me um which is you know it's unfortunate there's not a whole lot i can really do about that um it is one of those things where it's it's always worth trying but you know it's 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 worth trying if it's like reasonably affordable or free um but if it's like over a certain price it makes me very reluctant to try it because other things i've tried in the past haven't worked um so it's it's uh it's tricky it's it's tricky to know what to do it's tricky to know really how to sort of play things um because there's just there's no certainty to it there's no um there's no guarantee to it i'm starting to get more reviews in now which is good um and uh all of my books apart from welcome to mary's Vale, are now on five or more reviews um and i think there's this thing where like some of the you know submit your work to this review site to get more reviews or, like you have to have a minimum of five reviews and it has to be uh so many stars or above or else you we won't accept you so um yeah I, I but it's like finding those things again because at the time i was like you are so snooty i'm not going to bother with you <laughs> like this is so counterproductive i'm trying to get reviews and you are gatekeeping me um so yeah it's yeah it's uh but it's a thing that i always fall so short on which is getting my work noticed um i wish i was better at it um but it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. As I said, when you've got a limited budget, when you've got a limited time, um, it's it's so, that's it. It's the trickiest part. It really is the trickiest part. Um, and there's like, there's only so much I can really sort of do in terms of, of what is available that I am not already doing. Um, so yeah, it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one, but hopefully, you know, the, the few things that I am doing and um, I might look for some more free competitions to enter just just because <laughs> it would be nice to get a few more awards underneath my belt. Because, um, again, it's, it's all to do with marketing. And if you can market your, your work based on, you know, it, it having this, that and the other, then it does it does help in the long run. But it's getting that this that and the other to begin with which is the tricky part so yeah we'll see how it goes <laughs> all right okay so this is kind of a long and rambly sort of one um but i do need to leave it here because i have so much to do today <laughs> um yeah I, I like having days off where i have lots and lots of stuff to do it's the best Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> Having said that, I've got like three days off in a row, um, trying to do all of the sensible adulty things today so that I have two days off that are actually days off. <laughs> uh, so I don't often have days off in a row. I say this, I have a week off coming up very soon. I've got like four more shifts to work and then I have a week off. <laughs> so I've got three days off, four more shifts to work and then a week off. It's actually really good. <laughs> um, but it's, I've, I've also just worked three days in a row. So it's uh, catching up on all the stuff that I need to catch up on and then having a couple of days off. So should be good. All right. Um, I hope you found this one sort of interesting. Um, I hope you're looking forward to seeing what I'm going to be talking about next time. It might actually finally be that thing that I've been hinting around needing to do a blog about. I haven't done a blog about, although if you're watching the last vlog, you might have a very good idea as to what it is because, yeah, just watch that one. <laughs> Just watch that one. There might be there might be the tiniest little bit of a clue. Um, I am actually now in a position where I could just talk about it, but it's probably better done as a blog on its own and not tagged on to the end of this one. And it was actually the other thing I could have done this week. Um, but oh well, I've gone for this. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Um, like I said, I hope you found this one interesting. I hope you're looking forward to seeing what I'm going to talk about next time. We'll see whether or not it's a thing that I have just said it was going to be, um, or not said it's going to be. <laughs> um, and I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.